bada bing. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Huh. What? What's down here? Huh? Oh. Are there going to be redeads down here? And bubbles? Please tell me the answer is no. Oh, I only have one bomb one bomb left. Is this could this be a shrine? Where is this where does this take me? Ooh, a chest! Ho oh, ho! A royal claymore! Yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. It has unique. There are unique weapon attributes in this game? I think I'd drop this. Yeah, the floor on this is terrible. Let's go! Hmm. Link, well. Did you find anything? Huh? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and threw up and flew off? I gotta say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we pick up clues about where she flew off as uh, flew off to as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, since you still got the prop pad, or you've got still got the prop pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Hmm? It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Ah. Oh right, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule. We need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Josha, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Uh, let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Ah. Go talk to the soldier who's watching over the em the open doorway into it. Yeah, he's over there. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Mub's shop. I think they're carrying exactly what you're wearing. So it's completely superfluous. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Check it. <laughs> Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Woohoo! Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Ribbit. Crisis at Hyrule Castle updated. Hey, guys. It's me. That's my intro. <laughs> I, I really don't, I don't want to sleep. I, I have a feeling that my horse will disappear if I do. Actually... Has it answered my call yet? No, it looked over. It's thinking about it. Don't you dare leave. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh huh. This should do it. <gasps> hey, Link. You all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now. 
Or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Josha. Pull the switch. Hey! Okay. Switch. I have a big smile on my face when I exert myself. Whoa! Uh, there's- there are islands up there! Be, kinda be careful about where you're shooting. Just- just a- oh, whoa. Oh, is this- this is activating all the towers in Hyrule, I'm guessing. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah! Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the prop pad over that terminal. A warp point, I assume? And then, do we get to go to the... Top or is it just claimed? It looks like it might just be claimed. The top opens. Uh -huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here anytime, instantly. The same is true for every other Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Uh. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or, more simply put, to make a map. The Pura Pad now works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? hmm? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we hadn't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us... To giving you me the paraglider. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. <gasps> now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, uh, um, our first test. This went through <laughs> research and development. It's perfectly safe. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Or huh. I'll find you. Everywhere. I'll be standing over there, outside of the splash zone. When the test again is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck! Krom, we have to do something. What do you suppose we do? Uh, I don't know! Yep. It's Lissa from Fire Emblem Awakening! I knew I recognized her voice! Yay! I love her! I love Fire Emblem Awakening! It is my favorite Fire Emblem game! Uh, I put too many hours into that! Like, 400 hours! I beat Lunatic Plus twice! I had no life when I was a kid! Let's go up. I don't like that. That is horrifying. I hate that. No, no, no. No. I- this is awful. This is actually awful. I- th th That- mm, mm, Not okay with the guardian. Not okay with the guardian arms. Uh... I'm- I'm more okay with this, but was not okay with the guardian arms. Why do I have a cable attached to me? What- what- how- how far am I gonna go up? Am I in contr control of this? Kind of? No? I'm not. Oh! Oh, it's a cable! It's like a... cable! <laughs> That's what it is. It's a cable. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Okay. I wonder if we can use this anytime. That'd be so cool if we could. 
I'm back in control. Uh, they gave me control here, which makes me think there's a reason. Unless they just, like... I don't see any Skylands nearby. Maybe this is just... This is just a chance for us to get our bearings and... Maybe... Make a game plan of where we want to go. There are more towers. There's that. And a shrine. Can I... Oh my word, I can do this while falling! That's awesome! Thank you, game, for doing that. I love it when controls aren't... When we don't lose control of... <laughs> oh, we can even do that! That's sweet! Yeah, boink! <laughs> that was... Uh, I th I'm pretty sure that was, like, frame perfect. <laughs> I love it! Okay, he's still there. I love it when they don't take control away from- or like, the controls that we're used to using in under normal circumstances aren't taken away <laughs> away from us. Like, we have our full set, and it allows you to kind of combine with what you're familiar with. It's not like- it- some games- uh, actually, this is a great example. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wasn't even thinking about this rant, but this is a great rant to have, and one of the reasons why I like Breath of the Wild. One of the strong points, I think, why people like these these two games so much. Um, in Skyward Sword, whenever you use the paraglider, you couldn't do anything during it. You couldn't interrupt it, you couldn't shoot your bow while falling, you couldn't do anything. But in this game, you have full control, right? You can, you can pull out your bow, you can skydive, although I don't have the controls down on that yet. Uh, and, and you have... Every tool available to you is available to you, unless it's something that couldn't normally be used in the air. For example, uh, like a... S Actually, it almost looked like I could use a send there. Hold up, give me a second. Uh, no, okay. Except for things like a send. But whereas in other Zelda games, it's a lot more locked down. You can't mix and match and combine things in that game. You can't... Um, ride the spinner while holding your bow, which is a massively missed opportunity in my book. You can't use your claw shots with the spinner. You can't use the spinner out of the claw shots. When you're, like, holding onto the ledge, you can't just use your spinner. But if you could, the game would be different. The game would be a completely different game, and it would be awesome. But that's what... That's why we have Breath of the Wild. That's possible there. You can use your bow while riding a horse. You can use... This. I, I'm not sure if you can use this while riding a horse, but you can walk around while doing this. It's not locking you out. And that's the beauty of it. It's... Everything plays with its... Self. <clears throat> uh -huh. Welcome back. That was pretty good gliding up there. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region of the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Hmm. Right, so let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Goldsmith. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Leneru to the east. The strange phenomena have concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got a nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Mm -hmm. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hiba recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in our search for, or help in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you go over there, you should speak to the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Ah. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. E. We'll find Princess Zelda, one way or another. I gotta <gasps> find goggles. Ah! Sorry, can't talk right now. There's something I've got to discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. We'll talk later. 
Ribbit. I don't know why I made her sue for My Hero Academia, but... <laughs> That's what she is now. I guess, to be fair, it was... Where's my horse? It was a little bit more egregious that I made this guy... Um... <clears throat> metal face. From Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Can I overhear this conversation? Fancy meeting you here, Monado boy. Hey, you. Is it true that you've got the poor up pad? <laughs> Peral and I work together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie Pad, technically speaking. Aww. Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Ah, oh. oh, yes! Sorry, you are saying... Huh. I was saying that I want to go to investigate the depths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way! No how! You can't do that! The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to search into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But... No matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Parah's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! Ah. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, it should help us to better understand the depths. Oh, swordsman, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you- leave you out of the conversation. We finally get an introduction to her? We've talked to her so much, yeah. though. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. It was... A little- literal stone. This piece of slate. Specifically, the image it depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. It, I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I wanted to go down there, so I could see if there are any more depictions like this one. I could want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles sa here says it's too dangerous, so he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that slate. <sighs> and Link will join me. Sorry, I meant Monado, boy. <laughs> we'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your poor up pads camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. Who? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the poor up pads basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. Ah. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the poor up pad. Not a boy. Until then, or well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. What's what down there anyway? There will be ton of monsters in the depth though. I'll, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Oh. Let's see. I think we should enter through the chasm to the south. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ah. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Ah, that's decently helpful. Oh, and take this too. 
The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, if you, you'll want to head straight out and look out landing southern gate, you'll find the chasm gossip. Gas gossip. Used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camel works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Ribbit. All right, we got up. Okay, he's still there. Can I take this? Goggles isn't here. Um, swordsman, that's where I keep my research materials. P uh, please, hands off, ribbit. Huh. I guess this is where the game opens up. But... I have other plans. I guess that is south, so that's kind of where we want to go? Hmm. I do want to see... Uh, man. Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. I kind of want to go there, and in fact, actually, this will work out pretty well. I, I would like to stall um, by going by going down there because um, I want to play this game in a different manner than I, I, I might have mentioned it last episode. I actually don't remember. I want to play this this game in a different manner than most people do, uh, and so I'm probably not going to be going to Rito Village. My first thought is I I kind of want to go to Nakluda and Lurlin Village to the south. Maybe Eventide Isle, because but that's where the story isn't pushing me. And I think it would be really neat if we didn't let the game hold our hand and we just went in a direction and it maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. But it's our path, not the game's. Last time, last Let's Play, I, I went to Zoro's Domain, Elden, Rito, Gerudo, because that's kind of how it felt the game, the direction the game was pushing me. But this time, it's different. I'm a lot better at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the past 14 episodes aside, I'm pretty good at this game, and the muscle memory will come back. I think it'd be really neat if we just did things that no other Let's Play is brave enough to do. But first, I'm, I'm gonna let the game hold my hand, <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the, the depths. At the very least, to stall for you guys to have input in the comment section. I think that, I think that makes sense. Like, hello there! I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable. I think you already oh. talked to me about this, so I have nothing else to say. Uh, I guess first, it's flo- Are you really asking that? You've never seen the floating island before? Moron. Uh, before we go there, I do want to go there. But before we go there, I think... I want to hit up a stable. And I don't actually remember where stables were. I mean, I know I remember there's one down here, but there's one over here as well. So I am going to go this way because before we go here, I would like to register my horse. That's my plan. Take a hard left. Thankfully, I, I didn't actually think about this until just now. I don't have to worry about guardians, which makes these these fields a lot safer. I mean, undoubtedly there are different enemies. Uh, there are different enemies everywhere, um, and maybe some that do pose a threat to me on horseback, but right now, I don't have to worry about running away from lasers. I have a feeling that comment is probably a bit... is going to age poorly. But right now, I'm fine. Why is it getting darker? That's scary. Oh, look, a shrine! Perfect. Already. This is paying out dividends. It's okay. I choose my own path. Not... Okay, I can't complete that quote. I can't, I can't spoil Xenoblade for you guys. That's not what you signed up for. Although maybe I... Maybe it's in the lexicon so I can. Yamio Shrine, which is probably actually where we're going to be ending off the episode. But I'm going to complete it. And then we'll end off the episode. Combat training. Throwing. Ooh. What do you mean throwing? I've done plenty of throwing combat encounters in my day. If you catch my drift. OK. 
Okay, what, what's the gimmick? This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. How? Teach me the ways, Sensei. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Hmm. Okay, is this new? It's not new, but it's hidden. It's a... It's a hidden... A hidden ability. They didn't, they didn't show us this. Oh. Okay, so they want me to use fire fruit, so that's what I'll use. And press R? Hold R? Was it R? Wait, what was it again? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. No, throw is not in there. It's probably this one. Oh, wait, there it is, there it is. Hold, select a material, and then hold R to get ready. That's what I did. No. Ah! Did I read that right? Oh, you have to hold R first. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's, I see, okay. Nice. It's it it's almost like the bow. It's it's an identical and it's funny I was talking about this earlier. It's identical to how you fuse things with the bow. All right. Hold R. Select this. And throw. Very simple. Okay. That's that's awesome. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Some growing pains, some growing pains. New controls, and to be honest, the controls of Breath of the Wild are, it, it's simultaneously the most intuitive Zelda game, but also the most complex. I mean, how many, Wind Waker did not have, uh, did not have this. It didn't have the ability to hold a button and then select from a quick menu of your inventory in order to get a unique set of controls while also sharing those like, identical controls with a bow. Like this is so well thought out. It's better thought out than any other Zelda game. Easily. Uh, yeah, no. I, I was going to make an argument for Link's Awakening because it has a, a very similar, um, very similar tool set of, of, or I guess theme, yeah, of of combining items to get benefits. But no, this this game easily takes the cake. Delving ever deeper into the mechanical beauty of Tears of the Kingdom. 